everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen. Today we are going to make turkey pot pie. The pot pie crust, I'm actually going to make it from scratch. I've only made it one time before, but it was good. I'm really trying to build up skills of making things from scratch. With all the shortages at the grocery store, I realize how important it is to know those simple skills like making your own bread and making your own crust and rolls and biscuits, things like that. Because I don't know about you, but I get pretty spoiled when I can just go buy biscuits in a can, pop the can, and which is nice to have that option. But I think for myself, I would just like to have in my tool belt the knowledge if I didn't have them and I don't want to go to the grocery store, I can make them with some simple ingredients. So that's what we're doing today. What you hear in the background, because they are upstairs now, are my baby chicks. I'll give you a little peek at them. This is what you're hearing, chirp, chirp, chirping. Look how big they are. You better get down from there. Hello, ladies. You're almost ready to go outside. You're almost big girls. I hope I'm not too annoying. All right, the recipe calls for unsalted butter, but I don't have unsalted butter, so we're just gonna use salted butter and then leave the salt out of the other ingredients when it says to add salt. For the pie crust, so you're gonna need ice water, so let me get that. jars. I believe it was Amazon, but I like these jars. They have some cheaper ones at Walmart that are glass like this, and the lid is glass also, but it doesn't have this like where it kind of seals with so that the air doesn't get in there, like kind of locks. So you see you have to kind of the suction there, but I like these a lot. The ones at Walmart, they don't have that. It's just glass, glass on glass. And then it says you need more flour for your work surface. So I am going to have a little bit. You need one teaspoon of sugar. And then it calls for a fourth a teaspoon of fine salt. Since I'm using salted butter. I'm, I'm not going to add the salt. I guess we could just put this. I'm going to need the... Let me add this in here. Should have been putting it in there to begin with. A half a cup cold butter cut into half inch pieces. So it's in the fridge. Nice and cold. See I'm using salted Vermont cultured butter. So let's cut this up. And you want cold butter like really cold butter so that there's lumps of it in, in the dough. You, want, you actually want the lumps. You want to be able to see chunks of butter in your pie crust dough. That's what makes it flaky. Half inch pieces. And then I'm actually going to cut it again like this. recipe says to pulse it together until the butter resembles a coarse meal with pea-sized pieces of butter. Ooh. Now, while that's mixing, you're going to add three tablespoons of ice water. Should be, yep, ooh, it's cold. It says, pulse together till it's crumbly, but holds together when squeezed. It feels 
pretty good. I think it's good. Form the dough into a disc. Flour to the work surface here. Dump that all out. And then you don't want to overwork your dough. Because like I said, you want the butter to have chunks in it, so that does need some more water. Just add a little bit more. This is still a work in progress, learning how to do this stuff. I actually think I needed to double this recipe because this only looks like enough crust for the bottom and I like to have a top. So I'm probably going to mix up another one. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to... So then you're going to wrap it in plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least an hour. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'm gonna make another one real quick. And while that's in the fridge, we're gonna go ahead and get started on making the filling, the turkey pot pie filling. So the recipe calls for five tablespoons of unsalted butter. So I've salted, so again, I'm just gonna omit the salt from the rest of the recipe. Five tablespoons. Then it calls for one medium onion but I have some shallots that I'm trying to use up, so I'm gonna use a couple of those. Two cloves of garlic, minced. And my cloves are really, really small, so I'm going to do three of them. Then it calls for four medium carrots, so two cups diced, as well as one cup of frozen peas. Now, I, last year, dehydrate. I dehydrated some peas and carrots that I just bought in a bag, store-bought, frozen, and then I have a dehydrator, so I wanted to see if I could dehydrate them. And these are probably close to a year old. They've been in my cupboard down here, and I put some oxygen absorbers in there, and I've cooked with them, I think, four or five different times now, and they're fine. So what you wanna do is, when you're gonna use them, you do have to know in advance and soak them in water to rehydrate them. Otherwise, they're kind of chewy I guess you could say or crunchy hard and crunchy and I think I also threw in I have some dehydrated celery so I just threw that in there too so I'm going to cut up the garlic the onions this helped a little bit Well, that's good enough for me. So we're gonna melt this butter in the pan and then we're gonna add our onions and garlic and cook them down till they're caramelized. Once this has been cooking, you're supposed to add the flour. So a half a cup of all-purpose flour and cook that. So add the flour and stir to coat vegetables, but I don't have any vegetables in mine yet. So we're just gonna stir to coat the onions. Half a cup of flour. becomes like a sort of paste. This is how you make a roux. I believe that's what it's called, a roux. So you're just cooking the flour a little bit and then to that you're gonna add your liquid, which in this case is gonna be chicken broth. But I actually don't have chicken broth per se. I'll show you what I'm gonna do to make up my four cups of broth. So I like to use this. It's better than bouillon roasted chicken base. So I just stir this with some water. One teaspoon equals one bouillon cube, which equals one cup of water. So we'll use four teaspoons of this. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Stir it in the water a little bit. And then we're gonna add it to the... So I'm gonna do two of those, because this is a two cup 
measuring cup. Mix it together really well. It says you're going to bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat and simmer for five to seven minutes. At that point, I'm going to add in the vegetables. Oh, oh, it smells so good. Now I'm going to add the peas and carrots. So I'm just gonna add liquid and all, and then I'll simmer it down. You could drain this, but I wanna cook it for, I wanna simmer it for a good bit. And while that's simmering, I'm going to get my pie dish ready. Let's roll out this dough. So this is turkey that was left over from our Thanksgiving Day turkey that I just kept frozen for using it for this purpose. All right, now that everything is in there, I'm gonna give it a taste. That's really good. I end up normally having a lot more that will, than will fit into the pie crust, so I just save it and I just eat it straight up. I don't need no bread. So you're gonna preheat your oven to 375. with this crust, I can tell you that much. But I imagine it will still be edible. So we're gonna go with it. And I'm gonna put it on a pan because I can guarantee this is probably gonna bubble over. It already is. Then you're gonna put it in your preheated oven for 45 minutes. All right, so I've taken it out of the oven and we're gonna do a little taste test. So Jade is gonna ta taste test it for me here. Oh yeah. Ooh. Get those inner juices for you here. Smells like what it's supposed to be, yay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a taste, tell me what you think. It's a bit warm. <laughs> Good? Mm-hmm. 